Money Monday is sponsored by Husky Financial. She's worked for some of the biggest tech firms in the world, including Microsoft, Apple, and Google. On this Money Monday, she's here to help job seekers rise to the next level in their careers and nail that virtual interview. Let's welcome Leah Garvin, operations leader at Google and author of the soon to be released book, Unstuck. Great to have you. Hey, thank you so much. So excited to be here. We're talking about that virtual interview, of course, for a while now, though, because virtual has been available to us even pre-COVID, particularly post-COVID, this is really the way in which people have their face-to-face. -face. And there are certain ways in which you can really kind of nail that interview. And it sounds like it all begins with preparation. Yes, exactly. And I would say the, the central concept of my work is, is this concept of reframing and looking at a challenge or situation through a new perspective and seeing, hey, there's there's a lot more ways to look at this than, than were available before. Um, and when it comes to interviewing, I'd say a perspective a lot of people come in with is virtual interviewing is exactly the same as in person. You know, it's just that I'm from home. And, and actually, I would challenge that perspective and say it's actually pretty different. And if we want to be successful virtually, and like you said, beyond if this is going to be the new mode of interviewing, especially with distributed companies, um, we need to we need to prepare in specific ways. Mm -hmm. And and a few of the things that I've observed and found most helpful, um, three that I'd like to share today are first, curating your space, and that doesn't just mean you know camera positioning and checking your microphone and everything, but I actually like to flip on my camera a few minutes before an interview and just look around like. Are there piles of dishes? Is there laundry? Is there something that's going to sort of pull my attention to like not making eye contact or or is going to distract the interviewer? Uh, because if we can see something in our space, then the other person can too. And and that can sort of throw us off in our rhythm. It really, it, you, there are things that we just don't think of because we're probably just so focused on the experience itself, what we're going to say, yeah. what they're going to ask. you know. And then what you're talking about, the, the job interview, you want to get that employment. So, but really you kind of need to impress in a 360 way. Exactly. Right. And, 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 and by that same thing, you want to show up on time or early, like right. in, in, um, in the physical space, we get there 15 minutes early, you chat with the receptionist or, or, you know, whoever's at the door, you maybe look through your notes. Now we just log on and we're here. And, um, you know, they always say, if we wait to the last minute, everything starts to go wrong. Right. So it's when we're not early is the camera doesn't connect and there's some problem. And so I think part of that curating your space and presence is about being early, being ready, making sure there's no hiccups. And then, and then you can just kind of come in with that positive, optimistic energy instead of being totally flustered. Absolutely. And the third one, though, the tip number three, don't overthink the lack of feedback. You know, I think for anybody who's ever been up on a stage, for instance, I think for a lot of comedians who are trying to make it, you get up on the stage and you're just totally bombing, but you got to keep going, even though you're getting yeah. nothing back from the audience, you have to have that, that clap track uh, in your head and the laugh track in your head to keep you going. Yeah, exactly. I mean, think about it. typically the other person's on mute. I don't know, we'll probably get some better norms around that eventually of what's yeah, the right sort sure. of balance there. But I've been in interviews where maybe I make some jokes or some kind of trying to have a little bit more of a fun with it and the person's on mute. And like you say, you get no feedback. Right. So you think, okay, like maybe I shouldn't do that again <laughs> or did the person not get it? Um, also, you know, uh, eye contact's a little bit confusing, right? Do we look at the camera or the person or the whatever? And and so, um, and, and both people are struggling with that's that. Right. that. That's right. one thing to remember too is, not only is the interviewer dealing with what's in my space and what distractions are happening outside my sure. room and, and where am I looking, but the interviewer is as well. Yeah. And so I think having a little bit of empathy for each other and thinking, hey, we're all sort of figuring this out. Um, and, and maybe a tip out there for interviewers would be to try to give a little bit of extra feedback yeah. where you may not have before. Give a head nod or a smile or come off mute for a little chuckle if, if it's I appropriate. Like, I like that <laughs> advice. It's not just on the one side, but if I can, yeah. your book Unstuck, it's going to be released next month. And what are yes. you hoping readers take away from this? 
So I'm hoping readers take away, understand how to use the power of reframing to work through challenges. I mean, I dive into 12 common challenges that show up for women in the workplace from feedback to negotiation to comparison. And, and the, the way to look at it is to just see that there's more available yeah. than some of the way we've already been thinking about situations. So Perfect. like for feedback, I think a lot of times we think it's a criticism. It means we did something wrong, but actually it's just data about how we're being perceived. Yeah. So I bring in concepts like that so that we just, we don't feel as stuck mm -hmm. and, and as that, that there's no way to, to break through a, a challenge that there's just more available for ourselves. Absolutely. Leah, I want to thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank yeah, great you. to be here. We're back in two minutes. Money Monday is sponsored by Husky Financial.